Hey everybody, it's your old pal Chuck, and today I've had much luck. From Target's Cobra Island, I was able to spy in the Cobra Mercenary. Let's slap another clip in the Uzi for Major Blood. I think that was a rhyme, screen, rhyme scheme. Yeah, but, yep, as I mentioned, we are taking a look at from the G.I. Joe Classified Series. This is Major Blood. Major Blood is part of the Target-exclusive Cobra Island subset. You can, I'll pause while you rant and rave about how wrong and evil it is. I was able to get this figure off of eBay. Actually got it for a good price before the eBay sales tax kicked in. Uh, to this day, I don't understand exactly how eBay can tax something that's already had sales tax applied to it, but it's neither here nor there. Um, thankfully, though, I went to Target yesterday and there weren't uh, rows and rows of Major Blood staring at me, laughing at me, so I feel kind of good about getting the figure off of uh, eBay. If you would like your own Major Blood, as I said, it's a Target exclusive, although Hasbro Pulse now has the figure listed, and of course it's out of stock, and I think it's only for Pulse Premium members, which means if you don't pay $50 a year or have X number of orders fulfilled by them, uh, yeah, you're out of luck too. So we'll uh, pause real quick and uh, come back and uh, take a look at the accessories and the figure. Okay, so I've gone ahead and stripped Major Blood down. I mean, the dog tags are removable, but I just figured I wouldn't bother. And I have to say, I really do like the accessories the figure comes with. Um, first off, you know, we did take a good look at the head of the figure. And um, this is, I would think, a combination of several different blood designs over the years um you know with the figure it's like it, you know it really just comes down to the arm there are some major bloods who have robotic arms some who have armored arms and some who just have normal arms and i think this is like a combination of that with a little bit more of a real world touch now the head is really cool it is on this uh hinge joint which allows it to go all the look up very far look down quite a bit but also keep in mind there's a neck joint so a lot of times you'll be moving that i mean uh let me see if i can really get this oh, there we go. get this head joint up and you know i think i can, can get a little there we go see i got it all the way back see with that neck joint it's like you're really just moving one as opposed to the other Let's get it back to a neutral pose. Um, this arm, well, both arms have that uh, butterfly joint as well as double jointed elbows, bicep swivel, wrist swivel. This has the up and down added wrist articulation. It's a little hidden by the forearm armor. Um, the robot arm, the double jointed bit is actually much better. You get a much deeper bend. Uh, a little bit of a groove there i thought maybe it pegs into something the robot arm is a little bit longer than the human arm let me straighten both these out and i can show you just like that you see it hangs down just a little bit more just enough for you to notice that something's a little different kind of you know bugs me but whatever and on this wrist it has the in and out wrist articulation you have a waist swivel you do have that uh, ab crunch that's get more to the back than you do to the front and there's a ball joint there and dog tags just came flying off so we'll put those back on hips same um, hip articulation as the other figures drop down swivel at the calf double faux ratcheted double jointed knees thigh swivel forward and back foot articulation with a little pivot Here's his, here's his classic helmet. Just goes right on. I like um, that instead of a... It's one of those modern patches like what um, Thor had in Ragnarok. Uh, 
where uh, it, it doesn't have the strap, but it's like a little attached thing to it. So that just go the helmet just goes on. Has this very interesting looking revolver. It looks like it's part taser, part revolver. Uh, that can be held in either hand, but it does have a holster here on the side of the leg where the robotic arm is. So of course you're kind of led to think that it's the robotic arm holds it, which leads us to our next thing. And that's the, uh, his trademark rocket pistol, uh, set up. Well, first it's the backpack and then the backpack, uh, pegs into the back here. You just got to thread it through the armor and there are two rockets. Now let me stand major blood here for a second. And we're going to take a look at that. The pistol looks a lot like the classic Cobra laser pistol. Um, on the original toy and some of the reissues, the rocket actually pegged up on top. When it was like launched off like a dart or something. Here, it actually pegs into the barrel. I'll be honest, I'm not a big fan of that look because I think it makes it look a little co comically long. So I don't know if I'll be using these rockets. You get two of them. And what's nice is they do peg into the back here. They just got to match up the uh, fins into the groove. Just like so. Yeah, I'm, a little, I'm turning them over. You can... Do I have it actually going the right way, I wonder? Hmm. I think so. Yeah, it's, it's uh, designed to go this way. And uh, they do hold, but, you know, before I started recording, I had the figure, you know, fall back and one of them popped out, but they're going to stay in there. Now for the rocket pistol. Now the whole point of Major Blood having a cybernetic arm, armored arm, what have you, is because he's shooting rockets from a pistol. So you would think that the backpack would have the storage for the pistol on this side so this hand can hold it. And of course, you can use this holster to some extent, although it's really designed mostly for the revolver, as I mentioned. Well, in something, a little bit of a design oversight that really bothers me. There's a hole in the side of the backpack, a peg on the side of the pistol, and it pegs in there. So I, on one hand, I do appreciate the whole uh, weapon storage, being able to have everything here, you know, nothing left straggling. But again, it's like, it, it's, it, it, it just, it just irks me a little that, you know, how would he realistically draw the rocket pistol from that side? I mean, maybe we could have had maybe double holsters or something, but it's just me. But overall, um, the look of Major Blood is actually quite nice. Uh, you know, I do, I will freely admit I sometimes, because of, this being an articulated six inch figure, you know, things look a little off uh, in terms of because you got to just play with it to get into a normal looking pose. But yeah, it's a good figure. It's one of my favorite Cobra characters. Uh, I'm sure as many of you might know, and I'm really happy to have it in my collection. So we'll pause and we'll be back with my final thoughts. Once again, I have using the Hasbro display stand because since Major Blood does have the finger uh, the foot pegs in the or the foot holes in the bottom of his feet to peg into the stand I'm actually using that a lot more than the arm which was always I think more for like flying and aerodynamic poses and that's not really something I know Major Blood to be I, I actually always thought of him more as like a tank commander like the one of another one of the ground commanders for Cobra specializing in tanks but yeah i really like the figure unfortunately right now it's very hard to come by although it is showing up in more plentiful numbers in other areas than new york at least my my areas uh so at target so it's a little bit easier to find with that said i have to urge you 
to be very careful if you're going to go off on go and get this figure off on eBay, because as I mentioned at the beginning, what might look like a great deal ends up being something uh, that's not a great deal. Um, this is, and as I always find myself saying, this is not a sixty dollar figure. This is not a fifty dollar figure. This is not an eighty dollar figure. I mean, this <laughs> certainly not a ten thousand dollar figure. If you remember that from a few months ago. Uh, yeah, this is a $20 figure, $25 figure at best. So, this is your old pal Chuck. If you like this review, please consider liking, commenting, and subscribing. Um, while I will always appreciate the views, the likes, comments, and subscriptions, it helps communicate to YouTube through their algorithms that my channel is one that should be exalted and held upon high. If you want to make the ultimate sign of support, please consider signing up for my Patreon. It's a dollar a month, $12 a year. It's www.patreon.com slash chuckdog1999. Card here in the corner. Those are working again, and a hyperlink in the description below. No thrills, no tears, no special rewards. All I'm asking is uh, you to help me, help you, help me to help you bring figures like Major Blood to you, as well as keeping up the general infrastructure of the channel. But as I always say, if you can't do the dollar a month or twelve dollars a year, um, watching my videos is thanks enough. So once again, for Major Blood. We will see you next time.